Welcome to the Metals Investment Forum. I have here the Dunedin Venture CEO, Claudio Tonquist. He's here to give us some story about his company, which is that they start drilling a high-impact project right in the southern BC. So here we go. Claudio, mm -hmm. can you give us um, uh, uh, tell us about your company? Yes. Pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me, Chen. As I said, uh, we, uh, will, we are drilling as we speak. Our MPD copper porphyry project in southern BC. It's one of three porphyry projects in our portfolio. Uh, it's a very exciting days, obviously, as, we're, as the drill is turning. Um, maybe a little bit of background about the project. We acquired it just about a year ago. It is an advanced stage copper porphyry copper gold porphyry project. It had historic drilling over decades um, and it has a very large footprint. That's one of the things that really attracted us to it. Copper proven over a 10 square kilometer footprint. So it's a large porphyry system. We know that much and it has real size potential. And what we also really like about the project is that it is very accessible. It's right off the highway and a three hour drive from, from Vancouver off the highway with logging roads and, and transmission lines and everything you need in terms of infrastructure right there. And that obviously makes your exploration dollar go much further and it's very cost effective for us to explore. Oh, excellent, excellent. So you are run by the same comp same management as a Great Bear, is that correct? So you're looking for the Great Bear type of a large uh, deposit, large discovery? Well, Chris Taylor, the founder and CEO of Great Bear, is also the founder of Dunedin and chairman of the company. He's very much involved on the technical side. Chris is a geologist with, with a very good nose for good projects, as he's proven with Great Bear. And he's very much involved um, in, on the technical side in Dunedin. He was instrumental in acquiring the MPD project. And um, obviously, Great Bear, if you look back one and a half years, they were mm. very much at the same point we are now with MPD, small initial drill program, and then they made the discovery, and that's really what we're aiming for. That's great, that's great. That's very so exciting. You're in the middle of the drilling. Can you tell us the timeline, what do you expect, and then what historical uh, drill result looks like, and then why it wasn't follow up? Mm -hmm. It's um, a small initial drill program we're doing, approximately four weeks. We will be um, will complete the drill program at the end of November roundabout and should have the results available in January. With this drill program, we follow up on some very promising, very interesting drill results that were drilled in 2013 by a previous operator that was at the time in the middle of the downturn. They drilled for the first time two deep holes and encountered porphyry mineralization over long intercepts. And what was very, very interesting is that the grade they encountered got better as they got deeper. They saw more bornite as they got deeper. So these are all the hallmarks, everything you want to see. And then at the time, they ran out of funds. They were never able to follow up on those initial drill holes. And that's what we will be doing now. Essentially, with our drill program, we will be chasing the mineralization further down to depth. At the time, they drilled 120 meters of a quarter percent copper and some gold on the side. That's already a quite respectable yeah, drill result and open at depth. So we are drilling further down and we will see how much further the mineralization will extend. And porphyries can go down for hundreds of meters, if not kilometers. Exactly. So it'll be very interesting to see what we can draw. And then the grid is getting better and better down deep. And unfortunately, they run out of money, so they were not able to, to follow, finish up. Yep. They had these initial holes. They drilled two holes. And that was the last drill program. They couldn't raise funds for any further drilling. And so this is not followed up. And that's what we are doing now. Oh, well, bad for them. Good for you. So you yeah. basically, it's not a blind drilling and then you have the target, you know, you have the idea where to drill and then you're going to drill through the, the area they drill and deeper. 
That's correct. And what's also important is that they drilled at the time two holes, 450 meters apart, and both holes appear, um, encountered the same type of mineralization with the same characteristics with better grays as they got deeper. And to hit the same zone over a distance of 450 meters, that already gives also a lot of confidence. So it's a big because, system, you believe. Yeah, exactly. That shows you or indicates that it's not just a fluke and not just whatever, a drill hole down a, a breccia pipe. Um, but if you hit the same mineralization over such a big distance, there's a good chance that there is a large system down there. Oh, great. You mentioned you're going to finish in four weeks. When the results will come out? In January. In January. All right, results. good, good. Yep. We're looking forward to, to see that. Hopefully you get a discovery just like Ray Beer. Yep, that's what we're shooting for. All right. So how about other projects? You want to touch a little bit? Uh, you, you have a, another project, Mojave in uh, Arizona? Yep, that's correct. Mojave we acquired earlier this year in spring. It's in many ways a very similar project to MPD. It's also porphyry. It's in a great neighborhood right next to Freeport Moran's Baghdad mine, a very large copper mine. It is very accessible, a similar picture to MPD right off the highway, so very cost effective to explore. And we did for this project all the technical homework over the summer this year the permitting and are now ready to start exploring and that's also slated for the new year. You mean the early part of new year or later part? You have, a, have it decided depending on the, how, how you're doing with the MPV? And it's results dependent. We are ready to drill early in the new year and um, the plan for now is um, to do both MPD and Mojave. Obviously We'll see what the, the yeah, yeah. MPD results are. If they are fabulous, then we'd probably be very strongly focused on, on following up on, on those. And yeah, so. Well, great, great. So, and then you have another uh, project in the Golden Triangle, right? Do you want that's to talk about that? Correct, yeah. That's a Trapper project, a project we've always had in our portfolio. And um, it's an interesting um, history, interesting project. It was last drilled, or for the first time drilled in 2011. That was at the height of the last commodities boom. And the drill results at the time, they catapulted the market cap of the company at the time to over 80 million. So we're very well received. And that's just before the gold price fell off the cliff and the downturn started. And those drill results were never followed up. And um, that project is in the Northern Golden Triangle, as I said. So slightly more remote, more expensive to explore. And for Trapper, our strategy is to look for a partnership, joint venture, transaction of some sort. We focus our drilling on both MPD and Mojave and Trapper uh, follow a different strategy. Oh, great, great. So, so basically you have uh, three different projects and mm -hmm. uh, so you just need to hit one great bear, right? <laughs> well, that's the hope. Um, one would be good, two would be better. We would be best. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great, great. So uh, where uh, can we get more information about your company in, in, down the road? Well, our website is um, www.danidenventures.com and you find our contact details on there. Our investor relations um, gentleman, Lox Henderson, will be very happy to point you in the right direction. Obviously, I'm happy to, to answer any questions there might be. Okay, great. Or come to Metal Investment Forum and ask you personal. Of <laughs> <in> course. Person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you. Welcome.